Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode of my rarest drop series where I take your submissions and scour the internet to find the rarest possible occurrences and drops in the entire game. Today I have another 10 images from a variety of different locations and a variety of different content. However, the one thing that connects them all is these players were incredibly lucky. As always, if you guys want to submit your clip or image to be featured in one of these videos, the best place to do so is to join my Discord and leave it in the video submissions channel. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all I have to say. As always, if you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to leave them a like, always helps out. Anyway guys, let's get started. Now to start things off here, we're going to be looking at a new piece of content, and that is Soul Wars. Now we have a player who probably got the luckiest interaction that you can get here. They managed not only to get one pet, but two pets, and also they got them back to back. Now the pet really is the only rare thing from Soul Wars, and not until recently did we actually have the drop data for how rare it is. The little creator pet drops at a rate of 1 out of 400, which is pretty common when it comes to pets, however, completing the game of Soul Wars does take quite a while. And you can only actually receive a pet when you open up a Spoil of War crate, which takes a little while to obtain. Even though it's a pretty modest 1 in 400 chance of getting a pet, I'm pretty sure it still takes over 30 hours to hit the drop rate for the pet once, but this person managed to do it twice and to also get them back to back. The odds of getting a back to back pet is around 1 in 160,000, so incredibly rare. Now next up here we have an extremely lucky player by the name of Crowers Fail, who managed to get a third age pickaxe from a master clue. Now to be fair, they have done 135 master clues before, but the third age pickaxe is so incredibly rare that it honestly doesn't really matter what KC you get it at, it's still incredibly lucky. Now luckily they did get a Mimic which brings the drop rate down significantly, but still a huge congratulations to Crawler's Fail for getting probably one of the most expensive Master Clues in the entire game, clocking in at pretty much max cash right now. You are incredibly lucky. Now next up here we have a collection log submission by an anonymous player, and uh, realistically I'm just putting this one in here just to distract from the fact that I have been spooned a couple of Hydro Claws already. However, I don't think that's anything compared to this person's collection log. Now to be fair, they have killed the Hydra 1,300 times, which is a fair amount, but still, look at the log here. First up here, already a bit lucky is the fact that they have the Hydra pet. It is one of the 3k for the pet, so they are a bit lucky there, but the big story here is of course the 6 Hydra Claws. Hydra Claws are by far the most desirable drop from Hydra, and they are normally 1 out of 1000, however this player somehow managed to get 6 of them in around 1300 kills. That's like 300 mil just in Hydra Claws alone. And yet, even with all that extremely good luck, they still managed to get the more obscure items, like the Jar of Chemicals, the Hydra Head, the Dragon Knives, the Dragon Thorn Axe, all of it together to complete the log at 1308 kills. You are incredibly lucky sir, congratulations. Okay, so next up here we have a player by the name of Bonnie who was doing some cave cracking. It looks like they were hunting the pet, and luckily they managed to get the pet not only once, but twice. On kill count number 3879, they managed to get, well, the cave kraken pet. Now what I find funny is they actually didn't leave the cave kraken. I mean, sure, you're not super likely to die, but they just kind of stuck the trip out. And in the same trip, on kill count 3880, another message pops up. You have a funny feeling you would have been followed, bringing in the back-to-back -back pet Kraken. Now Kraken is definitely a more common pet, but still it's one of the 3000. The only reason it's really more common is because Kraken is quick to kill. Even with that said, the chances of getting a back-to-back -back Kraken pet is 1 in 9 million. Uh, so still an incredibly rare occurrence. Props to them for not even going back and ensuring the pet, they just kind of stuck it out. And uh, well yeah, grats on the pet, or the two pets I guess, you definitely deserve it. 4k kills is nothing to scoff at. Now next up here we have a player by the name of Impulses who had one of the luckiest interactions at the Chambers of Zarek. Uh, so this player was just doing some solo raids, and on kill count number 552 they got an extremely lucky loot of an Ancestral Robe Bottom, and not only that, they also managed to get the Omelette Pet. Of course, well deserved, they have gotten 550kc, that's quite a bit, but that is not it. On the next kill count, 553, again a solo, they somehow managed to get the exact same drop, an Ancestral Robe Bottom and the Pet. That is so incredibly rare. For those who don't know, the way the Pet works is you only have a chance of rolling the Pet if you hit the purple drop table. So first they have to hit roughly the 1 in 30 or 1 in 40 drop chance just to get a purple from raids. 
and then once they've hit the purple, they need to hit about a 1 in 50 to actually get the pet. It's an incredibly rare occurrence of maybe around 1 in 2,000 roughly, and they managed to get that back to back, which means this drop is incredibly rare, and the amount of time it would take you to actually try to hit the drop rate for this is almost impossible. Okay, so carrying on here with a similar drop, we have a player by the name of Barrages who witnessed one of the rarest occurrences in the Chambers of Derek. Well, technically, I think this is actually less rare than a back-to-back -back pet, but generally seen as much more desirable. Now, a player in their raiding party by the name of Sud Rodrigo managed to hit the back-to-back -back twist of bow, such a rare drop, and not only is it over like a one in a million chance of happening, it also is one of the best drops monetarily because you pretty much just ended up with max cash. Now we don't know how many raids Rodrigo did, but if they did the same amount as the main spectator here, that's incredibly lucky to get it on kill count 51 and 52. Now next up here we have probably one of the luckiest hardcore Ironmen I have ever seen. Now this account is like brand new. Literally just came off Tutorial Island. The only stats they had were level 4 cooking, and after that they were just planning on getting a little bit of starting cash by thieving a few men. They probably just needed 50 or 60 gold just to buy a few things from the general store, uh, but somehow while they were doing that, they managed to get something so incredibly rare, they got their rocky pet at level 3 thieving. I'm pretty sure the base chance of getting a thieving pet from a man is around 1 out of 250,000, which is insane, and you only have a couple chances to get a thieving pet at this low level. And on a hardcore Ironman to boot, this account is truly blessed, so congratulations. Okay, so next up here we have a really interesting image here, and it requires a little bit of backstory. Well, first up here, this guy's account name is Give Baby Mole, so clearly he was pet hunting for the baby mole. Now, unfortunately, this guy was going a little bit dry on the mole pet, killing well over 6,000 giant moles with no luck. Now it looks like they were most likely derocking the giant mole and even though they weren't getting the pet they were getting a lot of combat experience and they were finally approaching level 99 strength. Well during that final mole kill they managed to hit 99 strength, a total level of 1950 and at the exact same time they also managed to get the baby mole pet. I think it's just a really cool interaction hitting level 99 and getting the pet in the exact same kill is something you don't see very often. I'm really glad you got the pet and getting 99 at the same time is awesome. It looks like you may need to get a name change though. Alright, coming up next here is the luckiest Ironman I've seen this month, and that is somebody by the name of Iron Frey. Now this lucky Ironman managed to get the third age Druidic Robe Bottom on their very first Master Clue, and on an Ironman no less. I mean, I do expect they're probably gonna trade that off because it's so valuable right now. The third age Druidic Bottom I just last checked was around 2.1 bill or maybe even higher than that. It could sell over max cash tag right now, which is crazy. Now this player did not get it from a Mimic, which means the chance of getting a third age Druidic Bottom is one of the 313,000 from a Master Clue, which is incredibly rare. And yet, on top of that, they managed to get it on their very first Master Clue scroll. I can't believe it. I don't know if there's anything else to say here. You're just so lucky. I hope you keep it on the Ironman just to flex, but I mean, I understand. It's a lot of money. Okay, finally here, coming in at the number one spot is a player called YRO BMW. Okay, so this player was just mining some iron. All of a sudden, just out of nowhere, they get the back-to-back -back golem pet. That would be so disconcerting. You're overjoyed just to get one pet, and then all of a sudden you just get a second one right away. You can see in the message box here, you have a funny feeling you've been followed, and then literally just right after that, again, you have a funny feeling like you would have been followed. That is actually just so crazy. Now the base chance of receiving the golem pet from Iron Rock is 1 out of 741,000, and they got it back to back, that's crazy. Now we don't know their mining level, but even presuming that they're level 99 mining, it doesn't actually make that big a difference when it comes to the actual chance of receiving it. Now if this was back to back, the chance of receiving this is well into the 1 out of 500 million range I think. Either way though, this is I think the first back to back golem pet I've ever seen, so congratulations man. You could have won the Powerball, but instead you got something infinitely better, and that is of course a back to back pet in this reboot 2001 medieval clicking game. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you have any images you want to submit, leave them in the Discord. I always go through there before I make my video, and I really appreciate it. Anyway guys, I will see you next time. Now, before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. Thank you so much to one of my newest members, Sages Rain, for subscribing at the Dragon Tier. Thank you so much, man. They're joining Colin Corley, Timothy Chen, 
Cappy, Guy Fox, 1227, Valhalla Lad, Brian Robinson, Brad Sings, Ocelot, and Kush Patel, all of the Dragon Tier. Thank you again, you guys are awesome. Also, a huge shout out to All Things Gaming, Birdbot, and Base Titch for subscribing at the Runite tier. As always, guys, if you're looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You can become immortalized in all of my future videos, get access to my video release schedule, and of course, get a custom role in my Discord server. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.